friends, I'm Coach Marsh, and today we are talking all about cold weather running. I get questions from so many of you wanting to know what to wear, in what temperature, and a lot of that may be very personal. Some people run hot, some people run cold, some people like gloves a lot sooner than others. But I'm gonna take you through some of what I do and some of my, my tips. I've been running through Chicago area winters for close to 20 years now. So I've got a few things to say. So let's get started before I get going. Remember to like and subscribe. Start at the bottom and work our way up. What I'm wearing is for cold, but not really freezing temperatures. So uh, uh, you really have to take into consideration before you run outside in the winter is what's your running route gonna be? Is, is it gonna be on traffic? Is it safe? Do you, are you gonna be running early or late so you have low light conditions? So you want reflective gear or lighting of some kind? Um, also think about, are you running long enough where you're gonna require fuel and hydration? If so, you're gonna to wanna to keep that close to your body because your fuel and hydration will freeze and that is not fun. So let's get started. To, at the beginning, at the bottom, I recommend that whatever running shoe you wear, that you investigate that brand or that model's version of a trail shoe. A trail shoe is more moisture and wind resistant than its regular counterpart, and it also has better traction. So you will, if you get icy or slick conditions, a trail shoe is gonna serve you better. You're not gonna feel the wind whistling right through your shoes. And trust me, with regular running shoes, you will. Next, is your sock. I go with a longer cuff length because I like to cover this gap between where the shoe ends and the tights begin so you don't freeze your ankles and have wind going in there. These are a sock by Bolega. It's a wool blend so that it's a little bit warmer and has this cuff. I like to pull them right up over my tights and seal off the wind right there. Next is your running tights. Make sure when you buy running tights that they are specifically for running. Make sure they are not studio or yoga tights because when you run in those, they tend to pill and you don't want that. So you want a slicker fabric and this is better for wind resistance as well. This pair I have on here is a thermal pair. So they just have a little bit of a soft insulation inside. So they're a little bit warmer. They're a little more wind resistant and these are reflective, which is really cool. These are the Rainier thermal tights from Athleta. And also they have some nice zipper pockets really close to the body. So if I wanted to put some gels in there or some chews, they would stay warm and they would, it would keep them from freezing because of my body heat. So this, these are a nice pair of cold weather running tights. Now you may want something more for the coldest weather and I'll get to those. On top, I just have a long sleeve. This isn't particularly for cold. It's not thermal per se. It does have these nice thumb holes, which are wonderful when you're chilly and then when you warm up, you can take them off. So it's just a shell. Again, when it gets colder, you're gonna want some neck protection. So let's move on to colder next. Okay, so for a little bit colder weather, I've changed out my long sleeve top to a thermal turtleneck version. So I've got some protection on my neck and this can roll up or down and I've got my thumb holes, but I could certainly add gloves to this. Now you want to ask yourself, is it really cold or is the wind making it really cold? Also what I have here is a, a running cap that's a little bit um, moisture resistant. So if it's snowing or raining lightly, this is the hat for you. You want to think about that. And if it is just the cold wind, you can add a light windbreaker. I resisted the light windbreaker for many, many years. And when I finally broke down and got one, oh my goodness, I love it so much. It adds so much protection from the wind. And sometimes this is all you need, you feel comfortable. Also, if it's windy out, what you wanna do, because in, when the weather's really cold, your eyes tend to water. So you wanna add some sunglasses. And also, gloves are very personal. Some people have really, really cold hands and other people run hot like I do. So I just have a pair of string knit gloves right here that I got at the Tokyo Marathon. So good memories there. But these are my gloves. It has to be below freezing for me to pull out gloves. I, that's kind of unusual. Most people want gloves before that. I'm just weird that way. 
So this is a little bit colder, a little more wind resistant. Let's talk about when the mercury drops further. All right, so here's what I recommend for the coldest temperatures for running outside of them. And for me, this, this would be single digits, 10 degrees and lower. I add this extra thermal half sip over my turtleneck and I would add a neck gaiter because you get a lot of exposure right here. It's something the jacket won't cover. So I'll put that on. It takes a village to get, re to get ready to go outside in some of these ridiculous um, temperatures. So this neck gaiter kind of goes up and down as you need. So you can wear it down like this and it'll just keep your your neck toasty and if you if the wind is coming you can bring it up over your nose then over this I bring out my firewall jacket again it has good pockets for your phone and your gels and whatever else you're dragging with you and then if it's super cold again like I said you're gonna want your gloves and another hat And of course your sunglasses because the wind, it will make your eyes water like crazy. So it's kind of like the zombie apocalypse. It certainly is crazy. These tights I have here are Icelandic tights from Spandex. And I'll put the link below. These are lined in fleece and the outer shell is somewhat windproof. So these are really good tights when it is single digits or you're out in the snow or even for skiing these are really nice so in a nutshell here's my getup i kind of look like a rodeo clown but um light moisture whip wicking layers are the key and you you really tr truly can be comfortable with it it takes a lot of preparation and a lot of laundry after but i hope this helped you i'll see you next time thanks so much for joining me and happy running this winter